What's up everybody? This is Ben Lampkins with Angler's Itch Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you how I throw a cast net. I'm going to be using a 7 foot, 8 foot tape net, and a 10 foot net. I'm going to show you how I throw all those using the same method. So we're just going to kind of get straight to the point and show you how it's done. So stick around. Alright guys, so uh, with this method I use, the uh, reason why I like to use this method, um, you don't have to take the net, you don't have to put it on your shoulder, you don't have to put it in your mouth, or you don't even have to do any spins. Um, I do a lot of winter fishing and I'm out in the cold uh, throwing my net to get bait. I don't really care to uh, be getting soaking wet from throwing that net over my shoulder out in the freezing cold. So this is a little bit cleaner, drier way of throwing it. All right, so we're starting off with a seven foot net. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is use your strong hand. Um, I'm right handed, so I'm gonna put the loop on that right wrist going to start doing is start making loops all in the same direction here. Try to keep your loops about the same size. Keeping that rope kind of organized like that will make a much cleaner throw so you don't get tangles and things like that when you go to throw it. So I'll just keep making loops until I get to about 16 inches or so. Stretch it out. And I'll take the same hand I put my loops in, run it down oh, about 24 inches or so. Fold that back over. Lift. Put that left hand or your other hand about oh, chest height. Make another loop around. And put that and so like so so you're making about like a loop like that and then this part's important you want to make sure you don't have any knots or tangles see how I kind of got one there if you have any kind of tangles your net will not open up so now's a good time to kind of check for any of that once you see it's kind of clear I'll take this hand go about maybe midway, maybe a little lower towards the weights, and I'll start getting handfuls of net. On this seven footer, I get about two handfuls, so about, you want about a third of the net in this hand. So now you kind of see that. What I'll do is switch my hand over here, I'll take that and put it up over onto that loop that I made before. If you can see that, I rest that into there, and I'll grip that. Then I'll come up, grab here, bring that out, I'll bring that up and over, put that into my thumb there, and I'll slide this thumb down, like so, to about right there, keep my thumb on there, keep my net folded back, see how that, I'll flip that to where it's backwards, so it looks something like this. What that's doing, that's getting that, that all spread out for you in your hands. So, ready to rock. All right, this time we got the eight footer. This time it's a tape net. Um, I actually find tape nets to be a little easier to throw. I don't know, it seems like that tape just kind of helps it spread out a little bit. So, uh, but if you use the same method here, these tape nets usually come with longer ropes because they're made to go deeper. But anyways, pretty much the same thing. Put it on your strong hand. Start making your loops. Same way as before. All in the same direction. Just like I said, much longer rope here, so you got a lot more loops to make. Just keep making them in that strong hand. Again, until you get so far with it. Then you're going to want to bring that hand down again, fold it over, lift, grab it about chest height, fold it over, making a loop again, back into that hand, lift it apart, check for any knots. And this is an eight, eight foot knot, so it's a little bigger, so do about three handfuls. So about a third of that net in that hand, like 
So, fold it back over. Grab here. Fold that over into the thumb. Run the thumb down again. And then Just like that. Same thing, you want to pull your rope back in loops again, so you're keeping it nice and organized. Alright, so now with the 10 footer, uh, same process except for one other step because it is a longer net. So start with the strong hand, start putting your loops like I showed before. Getting that rope all wound up in that stronger hand. Until you get to about you know, that length there again. Take that rope hand, run it down, fold that over, run this other hand down, make that loop out of the net into that hand, like so. And here's that extra step with this longer net. I'll lift it, make another loop in the same direction. So I got two loops in that hand. And then you're ready to do the rest. Get about a third of the net. Hold it over. Make sure there's no angles or anything. Fold that over. Get that like so. And then it spreads out like that. You want it to leave off of that thumb last. Kind of let it fly off of that thumb. You just got to have to practice to get in that. So. Alright, so I see how I like to throw the net. My advice to you would be uh, find a way that works best for you. Uh, if this way happens to be it, then great. You can kind of see how I showed you how to do it. Uh, you just want to kind of get out in your yard or wherever and practice throwing it. Uh, a couple days a week or whatever chance you get, get out there and just keep practicing. Stay patient with it. Making little tweaks in your form or how you swing or how it comes off of your thumb until it starts to open for you. Uh, pay attention to what you do when it does open so you can kind of repeat that. So on every throw, eventually that net will start opening for you on every throw. So, which is kind of important when you get out there chasing that bait. You kind of get lined up with your bait and you want to go in the throw. You want to make sure it opens for you. You don't want to miss that opportunity or having to wear yourself out throwing these nets over and over again. So, um, just stay with it. Practice, practice. Good luck. We'll see you on the next one.